Hello and a welcome to this community questions video and this one is all about buying a first 3D printer for a child or young adult and like recommendations that I've got around that. Now this is the first in a series of videos where I answer the questions from you guys in the community whether or not that's from Discord, from the comments or just emails and stuff that I get just so I can answer a little bit more information. So this viewer is in a position where they're looking to buy their first 3D printer and it's going to be for their 13 year old and they've asked a couple of questions here and the first one is do I still recommend Bamboo Lab because they've read some things about the software getting locked down. Now I'm in a position where I can only really comment on Bamboo Lab. They're the ones that I use in terms of my FDM printers. So yes, I do still recommend them. I still think they're a really good printer for me using them, they're fantastic. I know quite a few of my friends have also purchased Bamboo Lab printers and they're using them in a position to basically set them up for their children and they're printing off stuff for them. And even the children have been able to use them because they're just nice and simple. In terms of locking them down, yes, that's a big controversy around it. The software does feel a bit more locked down than maybe some of the other printers that you can get out there, but it all comes down to how much you're gonna tinker. If you're not looking to really tinker and dive into it and do your DIY upgrades and stuff like that, it doesn't really make a huge difference. And I know some people will say, well, blah, blah, blah. but at the end of the day, it's probably not gonna affect you in your use case. So I would still recommend going for that. The next question that was asked as part of this was, do I recommend going for something like the Bamboo Lab A1 or go the whole hog and go for one of their printers with the laser cutter and the like little slicer bit and everything else there. Now, yes, I still think the A1 is a fantastic proposition to go for. And when you're looking at spending like 300 pounds for the whole thing, I think it's like 400 pound bundle at the moment with a multicolor changer versus going up to, to the thousands of pounds, it's better to start off with the A1 purely because you don't know whether or not, you know, your daughter's gonna like it or your young one's gonna like it or whether or not you're gonna like it as well. So give it a go and try it out with that lower investment to start off with. In my opinion, the quality is still really fantastic on those lower end machines versus the higher end. The only time this is really gonna make a difference is where you're storing it. So if you're storing it outside, if it's like in a garage like I've got and it's not temperature, temperature controlled, then you probably wanna go for something that has an enclosure. But if it's gonna be inside, then honestly the A1 is a really fantastic proposition to go for. Now on the topic of laser, I think that's very different. And in my opinion, don't get a laser for a child and I say this, your child might be the most responsible child in the world, but even we as adults will make mistakes when it comes to laser cutters. I've currently been sent a laser cutter and I've been using it and trying to get to grips with it and everything else. I'm not too sure how the Bamboo Lab ones work, but at the end of the day, there are safety concerns there. All it takes is a little bit of carelessness, whether or not that's leaving the door open or looking at it when you're not meant to be looking at it and it can obviously cause blindness. But that's probably lesser of the issue. It's all about the things that you cut as well. There's materials that you might cut by accident that then can cause noxious gases or even poisonous gases to come off of them. So it can be quite a harmful process. And I'm also not sold on the whole idea of having everything in one enclosure because laser cutting is quite a messy process and 3D printing requires quite a clean area. Otherwise you're gonna get some like contamination and everything there. So I would start off with the A1. That would be my recommendation at this stage. So yeah, absolutely. If you are looking at getting a 3D printer, a FDM 3D printer that is not resin, for a child or for a young adult, I think something like the Bamboo Lab A1 is a really, really good proposition. It's a great value proposition. It's really easy to use either an application on the phone, an iPad, a tablet, or your Mac or laptop or whatever you're using. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to work with. It gives really reliable results and I like it. As I said, I can't really comment on others. The other one to maybe consider is something like the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. That looks like a really good value proposition as well. Elegoo make pretty good software to go along with it. I haven't personally used one though, so I can't necessarily comment on it, but from what I've seen online, it gets really good reviews. Lots of people do like it. Although in some of the comparisons, people don't like it as much as the Bamboo Lab, but again, it's all down to preference. So yeah, you can't go wrong with the A1, definitely worthwhile having a look at. So if you wanna have your question answered in one of the community question ones, just throw it in the comments, send me an email, drop me a message on Discord, whatever. I'll try and pick it up and then do a very short video answering that. And also, if you've got any recommendations for this viewer about what printer they should pick up for their daughter, then let them know as well. As I said, I've only got a, a viewpoint of Bamboo Lab. So if you've got any other recommendations, you use Bamboo Lab, but you found something that's better, throw it down in the comments. Also, I'd be quite interested in knowing. Ta-ra, stay safe.